You may occasionally have some difficulty showing the line type pattern. I have a design here for a pergola and a couple of alternatives here to show the way in which the wooden lattice work will be suspended overhead, but uh, those battens will be fixed and in a top view, of course, that the battens to which the boards rather or rails to which the battens will be fixed are hidden and we put those on a layer with a hidden line type pattern and the green and blue lines that you, you may be able to see here are examples of lines drawn on a layer with a hidden line type pattern but you notice that the green lines to the left here are very much the, the, the dashed line which represents that they are hidden from view uh, the line type scale is not correct and if I click on it you can see the line type scale up here is 1 and I need to change that to point 1 to get the dash pattern showing the way I want. Now that gets a little tedious so I would use the modify and match properties pick to the green line with the correct properties and just pick up those properties and whoops not that one but this one that one and that one and the error that I made we can just right click and repeat that command I want to pick up the characteristics of the red horizontal line and match them to that one where I made an error and the same applies to the blue lines they're both on the same layer on a hidden layer one has a color green associated with it one has a layer blue associated with it this drafter wants to distinguish between the vertical lines in my view here and the horizontal lines so we want to right click and match properties again zoom in carefully so that we can pick that line then pick this blue line and that one and we have one more to go and we've now adjusted the line type scale of the entities on a hidden layer and we get the result that we want so that can be a little tricky the other thing that you will notice here, this is a design in the US environment and it's a design for a pergola that'll be uh, some 19 and a half feet square. And the dimension here is not performing the way I want. There's a comma in there, 19.68, should be 19.7. We want to round it off and I'm not a fan of a comma as a separator. So what I do is to change the dimension style we're going to change from an arrow to a dot as the marker and under units I'm going to reduce that to one decimal place and I'll change the comma to a period and we'll OK. You can see that the dimension changes dynamically so you can fiddle with those settings until you get things looking just the way you want them. You might argue that that dot the size of that dot is a little high, a little big, so modify the dimension style, come back to geometry and change that to say 0.75 and that will reduce it. Now there are arbitrary figures in the dimension uh, style. They control such things as the offset of the dimension line, the height of the text above the line, whether the dimension line gets broken or not and so on. So I hope that gives you uh, some guidance as to how you might manage line types and dimension styles in drawings. This example happens to be from the US but the same applies when you're working in the metric zone. You just have to change your line type scale and dimension style to match the way that you like to work.